A key to effective treatment of cardiovascular disease is understanding the body's complex lipoprotein transport system. At the operational helm are apolipoproteins, which, through their various functions, such as enzyme activation and receptor binding, choreograph the transport of lipids from sites of absorption or synthesis to sites of utilization. This system cycles triglycerides for distribution to muscle for energy use or to adipose tissue for storage and it cycles cholesterol for distribution throughout the body for cell membrane, bile acid and steroid hormone synthesis. A complementary cycle called reverse cholesterol transport completes the system. ApoB containing lipoproteins, also called non-HDL, comprise the lipid delivery pathway while ApoA1 containing lipoproteins, or HDL, participate in reverse cholesterol transport. ApoB containing lipoproteins originate from two sources, an intestinal ApoB48 lineage and a hepatic ApoB100 lineage. Traveling along similar pathways, ApoB particles are remodeled into smaller and smaller cholesterol-rich remnants as triglycerides are released in the form of fatty acids to peripheral tissue. Let's take a closer look at this process. The newly assembled ApoB-containing lipoproteins are secreted from the intestine or liver into the lymph or plasma respectively. Secreted with them are apolipoproteins E, C2, and C3. These apolipoproteins may also be acquired from HDL. With attachment to proteoglycans on capillary endothelium, the lipoprotein remodeling process begins. Here, ApoC2 activates lipoprotein lipase, LPL, which hydrolyzes the lipoprotein's core triglycerides into free fatty acids, which diffuse through the capillary to muscle or adipose cells. As fatty acids exit, the lipoproteins become smaller and smaller remnants. In remodeling of the ApoB100 lineage, a further step by hepatic lipase, HL, transforms remnant IDL particles to LDL. During remodeling, remnants of both ApoB48 and ApoB100 pathways shed apolipoproteins E, C2, and C3, which then reassociate with HDL. Eventually, most ApoB remnants are recycled to the liver through the LDL receptor-related protein LRP or LDL receptors. However, ApoB remnants can have other metabolic fates. For example, LDL may be taken up by peripheral cells for its cholesterol content, or of more clinical concern, chylomicron remnants and LDL may become targets for uptake by the arterial wall macrophage. Excess ApoB containing particles can invade the arterial wall, become oxidized, and be taken up by macrophage scavenger receptors, creating the foam cells that lead to atheroma. Now let's examine the complementary ApoA1 or HDL pathway that protects from atherogenesis. HDL's two major atheroprotective roles are reverse cholesterol transport and properties which prevent LDL oxidation, a key trigger for atherogenesis. Let's look at reverse cholesterol transport. To begin, poorly lipidated ApoA1 is secreted from the liver and intestine and released into the plasma for circulation to peripheral cells where it removes excess cholesterol, forming nascent HDL. HDL's removal of cholesterol from cells is of utmost importance when those cells are cholesterol-laden arterial wall macrophages. Let's examine several of HDL's cholesterol-removing mechanisms. Excess cholesterol in the macrophage triggers upregulation of the ABCA1 transporter and a hydrolase which converts cholesterol ester in the lipid pool to free cholesterol. The ABCA1 transporter operates to harvest this free cholesterol and deliver it to the cell membrane where it is acquired by poorly lipidated ApoA1 to create nascent HDL. 
The transporter shuttles back and forth, transferring cholesterol from the macrophage to HDL. Next, the free cholesterol on HDL's surface is esterified by lecithin cholesterol acyltransferase, or LCAT. The cholesterol ester then moves to the lipoprotein's core, forming the more spherical, mature HDL3. Further cholesterol removal by HDL3 occurs through SRB1 receptors in membrane cholesterol pools. As HDL3 collects more cholesterol and is acted on by LCAT, it expands to HDL2. As we've seen, ABCA1 and SRB1 are key devices for cholesterol efflux. However, HDL also collects cholesterol from both lipid rafts and caviole within the cell membrane. In these ways, HDL facilitates cholesterol efflux from the macrophage. Now rich in cholesterol esters, HDL2 engages in an exchange with triglyceride-rich lipoproteins, mediated by cholesterol ester transfer protein, CETP. Cholesterol ester from HDL2 is transferred to ApoB-containing lipoproteins in a one-to-one -one exchange for triglycerides. The result, further cholesterol enrichment of ApoB lipoproteins and triglyceride enrichment of HDL. HDL may now have one of three fates. HDL's triglycerides may be hydrolyzed by hepatic lipase, converting it back to HDL3 or HDL2 can return to the liver, interacting with scavenger receptor SRB1, which removes cholesterol, converting it back to HDL3. Or, finally, HDL2 may be catabolized by the liver. As we have seen, these complementary systems work in elegant harmony to choreograph the body's lipid needs. And as science continues to unravel these intricacies of normal lipid metabolism, our ability to understand, diagnose, and manage various dyslipidemias continues to improve.